And we've made it into the computer room. This is kind of weird. Judging from our position, this room is right under the cathedral, which could mean that this is the Ethos Data Bank. I'm sure of it. This has to be the Ethos Data Bank. Of course, Satan would know. Hey, it's Bart and Ricardo Banderas. So it seems this is a surprise. This data bank holds all the information concerning the ethos from the past to the present. Everything. This facility is strictly off limits to us, but nobody's here. So I say we do it, and the pontiff is dead. Yeah, but even then, this place is damn well equipped. Look at it. I say a facility of this magnitude would even be hard to find in Solaris. Why would the ethos have such a setup? Because they're epic. Do they need another reason for that? This is Solaris's equipment. So, Solaris? Don't be so surprised. No matter how vast this world is, such advanced equipment as this could only come from Solaris, because we're better than everyone else. The ethos has been assaulted by someone, and in the basement we find a Solarian's facility. I'm saying it, Chavon. The plot thickens. What's going on here? What is this place? Hey, Billy! You know anything about this? He shook his head now. Don't ask me. How would I know? This is my first time in here. Then let's investigate. And we investigate. Satan, what is that being displayed there? It looks like some transmission record from somewhere. We might be able to find some clues here. Wait one moment. Alright, now I am able to transmit it to the main displays. On screen. One at a time, dude. I'm... I'm... lost here. Okay. I can... there we go. Maintain key slev gears at level D2, current balance 4 to 6. Report by Bishop Shakan of the Ignis Diocese? Shakan? Do the in intervention of an uncertain factor. Correction is needed. Progress of the operation has declined by 30%. Why is Ethos looking into this kind of stuff? On top of that, that Shikhan's a bishop? Wasn't he excommunicated from the Ethos 17 years ago? That can't be the case if he's been sending in regular reports. Look here! The destinations of all resources collected by the Ethos through trade with each area. All the resources are being sent on to the Solaris homeland. Why would the Ethos be sending supplies to Solaris? I don't know. This is in the Solarian language, but it's been encoded. Hold on. What is this? That's Satan. Come on, hurry up! Hold on, it's hard to translate this stuff. Lambs, Great War, Collapse, Re-Education, Post-War Rehab Plan, based on schedule for building gate foundations, Lambs, 02 to 04 to Ignis, 5 to 8 to Acuvi, 11 to 16 will be uniformly distributed, put into practice, Ethos established as an organization, supervision by elders, conference supervision by the Gazelle? The ethos is... It's all a front! The ethos is really a subsidiary organization of Solaris. So what does this all mean? That Billy's life is a lie. In short, it's like this. 500 years ago, there was a great war that occurred between Solaris and the land dwellers. It's not clear what the outcome was, but after the war, Solaris feared another land dweller revolt. So Solaris built a gate or barrier that separates Solaris' land from the rest of the world's land. The land dwellers who lived within this gate were made to dwell as separate races and were thus supervised. To carry out the actual supervision, Solaris established the Ethos. So the Ethos is actually controlled by the Gazelle Ministry or Solaris' highest governmental body. So yes, the Ethos is really a front or a subsidiary organization working for Solaris. Excavation findings, goods, and natural resources from the surface are transported to Solaris by the Ethos. This also includes human resources, or people used for manual labor and so on. Basically, this here is the window between the planet's surface and Solaris up there in the skies above. 
According to the, these records, there's been an enormous amount of goods and people transferred to Solaris. He spelled transferred wrong. So, the ethos has been manipulating us, eh? Anything else? The rest is mainly about population distribution and excavation records. The amount of detailed information about races and their biological data kind of concerns me, though. Here's a relatively recent record. It also indicates that there has been a large amount of people sent to Solaris. The majority of them were people who had come to the ethos seeking help or spiritual salvation. This can't be! I've heard nothing of the sort! So what happens to all those people you've seen coming here for help? They became Etones, like me! Surely not all of them. What happens to the ones that didn't become Etones? Well... Uh, it's all becoming clear then. How about it, Ellie? There are facilities in Solaris for accommodating surface dwellers. I know. The third class citizen level Earth dwellers of various races are regularly sent there for as manual labor. So this is the source of their labor, sh labor supply. But that's impossible! How could that be? Even if that was the case, who would kill all those ethos people and why? This could be your answer. What? The 44 salvage plan. The 44 salvage plan? Thank you, Solid Snake. Isn't that what the captain of the Thames was talking about? This is the only plan that is not linked to Solaris. It must have been initiated by the Ethos itself as a completely independent project. It was commenced about 19 years ago. Allow me to display the data. And none of the screens changed. Completed investigation of the Zeboim city which sank to the bottom of the sea approximately 4,000 years ago. After over 100 test digs, the city center has been ascertained. Excavation planned to begin. So from this, it appears that under Akivi lies an ultra-ancient civilization, which means ultra-advanced. They have been doing a huge number of test digs and obtained a vast quantity of resources from the ruins. Biological weapons, reactive weapons. So this must be their intention. My assessment of the circumstances is that the Ethos is attempting to break away from Solaris, and once freed from its master, is likely to attempt world domination on its own. Attempt to break away? An attempt to world domination? That's a rather... That's A, rather ambitious. Okay, if that's what we're going with. But the real intentions of the ethos are quite obvious. The fact that they're... That they are not reporting the results, let alone the site's very existence, gives it away. The ethos is planning to revolt by monopolizing this ultra-advanced civilization's resources. Actually, such rebellions have been quite common. I've lived through a few. So, do you think Res Solaris is responsible for this attack on the Ethos? Yes, that is probably it. Shall we move along? There could be more to find yet. My Ethos. My faith. Hey Billy, how long you plan on being like that? Get a hold of yourself. This is all just speculation based on circumstantial evidence. It would be best for you to confirm what is the truth with your own eyes. We're going to go on further. Barton Rico, could you please accompany the person from Shavat to the Yggdrasil? I always put quote around so those things. Alright. Looks like we're done here in the computer room. Billy is going through an existential crisis, though. I still can't believe it. Ethos was that dubious an organization. What was it that I believed in all this time? Isn't that the reason, very reason why I told you back then? That you belong with us? Verlaine? You're defiled, Billy. You left the ethos and kept company with dregs who have no faith at all. And you lost sight of what it means to be defiled. I didn't expect it out of you. You who used to live only for your faith. You should have remained like us. But fear not, Billy. I shall cleanse you. You'll live within me. You'll become one with me in death. What? You! Father! 
How could you do that? Because he was going to kill you. What are you getting flustered about, boy? It was a stun bullet. He's just taking a nap. You should have been able to tell by the sound it made. Besides, these murders are not from the ethos. Look. That symbol. Yes, that's right. They're agents of Solaris. Probably an assassination unit under Stone's command. I got word that they were exterminating all Ethos members and hurried here, but I was too late. All Ethos affiliates have already been killed, except for those on some sort of salvage mission. You claim Verlaine and his men are an assassination unit for the Bishop? How could you even say such blasphemy? That's right. We are servants of the Bishop. Our mission is to hand out judgment on fallen priests and sinners in order to make them repent. There's only one E in judgment. Is that true, Verlaine? But why people from the ethos? The Pontiff and his brethren deserve to die. They allowed greed to tempt them into abandoning their duties as the ethos to pursue world domination. They passed their own death sentences when they allowed such des desires to overtake them. And that's not all. Saving orphans and refugees. They may seem like works of mercy. mercy. But the little boys and girls kept here were actually used as means to satisfy the desires of the pontiff and bishops. <clears throat> Indulging in selfish desires. This is not conduct befitting priests. Such defiled leaven have no right to speak for God. That is why we set out on this purification work. They must atone for their sins. These are the bishop's orders. Even if that were true, we have no right to punish others. Judgment belongs to God. That is what we were taught, wasn't it? God? Where does such a being exist? You should know by now how the ethos came about. It was an organization created by Solaris eons ago, solely for the purpose of managing ignorant humans. Its doctrines are just deceptions designed to control the masses. The ethos used the two sweet fruits of faith and technology well to skillfully manipulate global affairs and people's zeal. Thus, they manipulated the ignorant masses but to repeatedly continue their pointless wars eventually. Battle data on man and weapons gleaned from these wars were sent to Solaris itself and analyzed to aid in ruling the entire Earth. These intentionally perpetuated wars caused much you spelled it wrong again psychological discord but faith in God salvation was used as a cushion to soften the blow it was a well thought out system but the choice of managers was extremely poor or did you think that acting the part of a faithful servant of God would someday yield an answer from a great God somewhere can't you see that such a divine being just never existed from the beginning? And you don't seem to realize this, but you yourself were passing judgment on sinners as much as we were. I've been passing judgment? That's right. Daily you have been dirtying your hands as an accomplice.